We won 13 innovation awards this year, which is more than any mobile phone company. We're really excited about that. So starting on this end, we've got uh, great music phones, and I think that's the thing about Samsung that makes us very special, is we bring innovation to a lot of different types of products. So instead of sort of hanging our hat on one great music phone, we bring great products to all of our carriers. So customers can go into whatever carrier they're, they're looking for and find really the best in class wherever they go. Um, right here we have the Upstage, which was launched in, uh, in 2007 with Sprint. It's kind of the double-sided phone, as we call it. It comes with this uh, battery wallet, which will actually extend the phone. On one side, you've got a music player. You flip it around, you got a phone. And that's, uh, that's been a big seller for us. We have um, a variety of interesting products. I'm going to go down a little bit, kind of an odd product here. But this is the Jitterbug. So again, you know, when you're looking at making uh, innovative phones, you have to think about wide demographics. And this is uh, kind of the only phone in its class. It's being marketed to baby boomers and their parents. So if you open it up, you see the keys are a little bit larger. And this allows us to bring technology to people that may, you know, when you take a phone like this, which is actually my phone of choice, the blackjack, you know, the keys might be a little too small. So you want to use a phone that really is just for making phone calls, this is, might be a better phone for some people. Uh, which brings us to the Blackjack 2. This is the follow-up to uh, Samsung Mobile's most successful Windows smartphone, which was launched in 2006. And the Blackjack 2, uh, it's a little sleeker, much better improved battery life. Keyboard design has uh, been vastly improved. The screen is much larger. It has a two megapixel camera built in the back, which also supports uh, AT&T's video share. So if you have another video share phone, say I'm a on the road traveling and my family's at home, I can show them, I can talk to them live or show them what I'm seeing and that's pretty exciting. Um, to go to a little different smartphone, this is the i760 which we launched with Verizon. It's a phone on the outside, you flick it open, you've got a touch screen, full Windows Mobile 6.0 smartphone and again, touch screens are great but a lot of people like to be able to type. So again, trying different designs and different interfaces. Now we talked about music here, and again, this is with Verizon. This is also, I'm sorry, this is with Sprint. This is with Verizon. This is called the Juke. It's a little bit of an unusual design. Close it up, maybe about the size of a lipstick case, and this is being marketed to teens and tweens. Flick it open, you've got a, a great music phone with uh, two gigabytes of built-in in memory, standard headphone jacks, so you can listen to it, and uh, this has one, been one of our most successful music phones in 2007. Um, so what's new over here? Oh, yeah. Right here. This is actually the um, CES Innovation Design winner in the accessories category, the mobile division. What I've got in my hand actually is a base station, or what I like to say, it's your own little cell tower. And let's say that I'm living in a brick house somewhere and I don't have a regular phone and I've just got a cell phone but the one place in the entire city where I'm not getting service is my house. Um, the carrier can send this to you, you plug and play it into your broadband, you don't need a special phone. So if it, we're piloting this right now with Sprint in a few markets, hope to have it commercialized sometime later this year and they'll send it to you, you plug it in and it's going to work with your Sprint phones. And your service will be incredible, and it'll support both voice and data. And uh, it's really, really exciting. Pricing? Any idea of the pricing? No pricing yet. And I think that's kind of what they're figuring out with piloting, is kind of figure out, is it subscription? Do you pay for it? You know, what are consumers going to be willing to accept if, you know, essentially you're improving their service? If I had, say, a, a family plan with four people in my family, a couple of kids, my wife and I, our phones would be the only phones allowed to work with that system, which would, like, web in a uh, in a Wi-Fi box, kind of block out everyone else. Right. But we would have beautiful service everywhere in our house, and the range is probably even a little bit better than your average wireless router right now in your house. The thing about Samsung is, if you go overseas, they work with Symbian, we work with Microsoft, we have our own proprietary systems built on Linux. I, I don't think that you know Samsung is is interested in giving consumers what they want, rather than aligning with one particular solution because ultimately consumers get to dictate. If they want Windows Mobile, we've got great Windows Mobile
reliable systems. We're going to be bringing some proprietary operating systems in the United States, uh, working with the carrier partners, which we're very excited about. Um, you know, I think a lot of people say, is it going to be touch is it or smartphones it? You know, what I would say at the end of the day, it's going to be everything. Because there's still consumers that are running out, and what they want is a phone and a nice interface. And we're going to be making those kind of phones for them. Google's a great company, and Samsung, as you know, has aligned in the partnership with Google Android. We don't have any tidbits to provide right now, so we're going to have to wait and see how we commercialize that and what comes to market. Okay, great.